Hello everyone. I'm from Java by Kiran, myself Kiran. I teach uh, Java, J2E, Selenium, Python. And this video is for access specifier, which is one of the topic in Java. Today we are going through access specifier concepts. Please be remember this video is only for revision, not to learn in detail all examples and all. I am going to post detailed video link over here so that you can refer that and understand the concept. But this is a good for revision. I am quickly here uh, pointing all important things in the access specifier. Okay, so coming now to access specifier, there are four types. There are four access specifiers in Java: private, protected default and public we'll discuss one by one in detail now first of all we'll come to private what does private means private means things which we cannot things which we cannot uh, get accessible outside of the class private cannot be applied to class local variable but private can be applied to inner class global variable method and constant. Let's say this is an example. What I did here, I wrote class in which is private. You'll get error there. That is not possible. Another example you can see here. I have class B where I mentioned one variable as a int which is private which is possible. Then I have method m1 having one local variable that is private int x equal to 90 which is again not possible. So please remember Local variables cannot be private. They are already private. So that's a dead code if you write it. Now one more example I'm going to show you. You can see here I have class A. Inside that private class X. This is an inner class. Which is possible. Very much possible. But outer class is private not possible. If I put that private in front of class A. It will be error. But here I wrote class X as a private. Which is very much possible. Now why private access specifier will you? If this question has been asked in interview, most of the people say, if I don't want to show something to others, then I will use private. But instead of saying that, you should say, I will use private variable if that thing is only required by me, only required to me. What that means? It means if we want to use anything in a program, only for myself. Only for myself. In other words, if we want to give some code and some code we don't want to give others, that is also correct. But the intention is not to give others, but the intention is to use by ourselves. We can say to distribute code without impacting anything. See this code now. What is there? Insert detail is a method which is public. From there, I'm calling my local methods insert skill and insert qualification. And for outer world, I'm not showing two private methods. For uh, private methods are like insert qualification and insert skill. Okay? So this is what the distribution of code. If you see something like this, one more example I am going to give here for a variable. Private x, double x equal to new x, which is allowed in Java. Don't think like here I made class x as a private. Here what I made, double x as a private. In this case, double x is a private, which is reference variable, which is very much possible. And guys, I am bringing like this videos many more for you all just to do revision. Whenever you are going for interview, you just go through my videos, you will understand many things. You can crack interviews, it's easy to revise. But to motivate us, to motivate me to bring such videos, I want you all to subscribe my channel. We take classroom, video, uh, classroom training, online training everywhere. And you can call on this number 8880-9416. And we are well established in Pune where we take classroom training. So you can call anytime this number, you can contact us. You can visit my website, javaitran.com also for more detail. Now, private is finished. Now we will go for default. Default members are accessible only in the same packages. But try to understand, default we don't write. If we want something model specific in a project, like let's say there is a project called loan application and if I want something to be used only in admin module, then I will be making that thing as a default. We do not write default keyword. Okay, It is just if we do not mention anything in front of method or class, then it is considered as a default. Default can be applied to variables, methods, constructor and classes as well. See in this diagram. These are the diag uh, in, uh, th see, th this is an example. 
here what I did, I have package bomb.hi. Where I mentioned class A. I didn't write anything in front of class A. What does it mean? It is a default. Another thing you see, in class B, I am trying to use that. But here in this diagram we observe. What is happening? Com, hello, com, hi. Hi and hello are two packages inside the com. Here from B, I am trying to call class A. And what I wrote? A double A equal to new A, which is not possible. Even though I am importing it, it is not possible. Okay, so what I am going to say here, default cannot be accessible outside of a package, only within the package. Even though you import, it doesn't. Now we will see public. Public members are accessible everywhere. It doesn't need much more introduction. You can see here in this example, I have class X, where I mentioned public P double P equal to new P. So what I did here, double P is a public reference variable, which is all possible. We never thought of, uh, think of this. We only think class can be public, method can be public. But things like the reference variable also can be public. Here in this case, double P is a public. Now, most difficult one protected will see. This is very interesting and protected most of the time people ask in interview and most of the time we stuck while giving interview. This is very important keyword. Protected members are accessible within the same package and in another package as well. But with some terms and condition applied there. Where it is a word, it's in subclasses only. And also, inheritance must be there while calling. So remember, what does protected means? The members are getting called with the same package, in other package as well, provided we do inheritance. Now I'll show an example. Let's see this is the thing. Here I have class A. Protected index is defined inside it, which is global variable. We think this is used to now. What we think in other package we are going to call it now. Now I see here I created class B which is subclass of class A. Class B extends A. What I did here again I created object of A. A A new A dot X I am trying to print which is not possible. What mistake we do here? We think that I am trying to call protected member from subclass which is B here which is not possible at all. Please be remember. Now what it should be? Class B extends it. That was there. Now two scenarios I mentioned here. One scene one and scene two. Can you observe that? In scene one, what I did? I created object of subclass. That is B B new B. And I'm printing with that reference variable X. So here in subclass, I have used inheritance as well. In earlier case, subclass was there, but there was no inheritance. Scenario two, you can see directly I'm accessing X, which is possible. So please be remember this. While calling inheritance should happen. This table, just for your reference, you can go through all of these. Uh, whenever you get time, you can take screenshot of this and just go through this. Here, what I mentioned, private, public, modifiers, and where it will be called. To know more about this uh, access specifiers, you can obviously visit my detailed sessions. You can uh, visit my tutorial website also, that is jbktutorials.com. You can access yourself just visit by visiting my jbktest.com, they can analyze yourself, you can test yourself whether you are correct or not. JBK Tutorials is a good uh, tutorial website which we have where tutorial is in very detail. You can subscribe my channel obviously. You can comment here in comment box what you feel about this video, what you more want from us. I am ready to do that. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.